Now, it's my immense pleasure to introduce another prolific speaker, Dr. Sunji Kushaka, professor and chair at the Department of Ophthalmology, Kindai University, Japan. Today, we'll learn the tricks of vitrectomy for myopic traction from the most experienced Dr. Sunji. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much for kind introduction. I'm Shunji Kusaka from Osaka, Japan. Uh, I'd like to talk about today the tips and tricks in vitrectomy for myopic traction macropathy. This is my financial disclosure, but nothing is relevant to my talk today. Uh, actually, this is my third time to visit Chennai. Uh, every time I come here, I enjoy great location and great meetings. And uh, Dr. Suganeswari spent uh, three months with us uh, at Osaka. So uh, there are three types of uh, my, uh, myopic traction macropathy. Uh, this is a very rough classification, not as so sophisticated as Barbara Paroni just mentioned. Uh, there are myopic schisis. Uh, I will talk about it first. Uh, first. There are a couple of uh, options how to treat uh, myopic uh, 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 schisis. Um, there was a discussion in the morning session that square implication is uh, one, uh, 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 I think it's an easier way to treat uh, myopic traction macropathy. So I, uh, to be honest, I don't do much of this surgery by myself. So I, I borrowed this video from my Japanese colleague, uh, Professor Takayuki Baba at Chiba University. So uh, his technique is that he doesn't remove internal remitting membrane. Instead, he uh, performed vitrectomy and uh, removed the posterior vitreous cortex, then uh, square imbrication is followed. So the uh, left uh, s panel shows the scheme. Uh, so he shortened six millimeters square in the temporal side. So uh, uh, 11 patients uh, are included in this study, and the uh, actual rings ranged from 27 to 31 millimeter. There was macroschisis only case, three eyes, macroschisis, uh, and detachment in eight eyes. Uh, so these data showed that the uh, best corrected visual acuity gradually increases and on the contrary, central macular sickness gradually decreases. And uh, actually, rings once uh, decreases, but slowly recovers afterwards. So the best corrected visual KT uh, uh, significantly uh, improved after surgery, and there was no complication of macular hole formation. Um, uh, macular uh, myopic CNB was found only one eye. Uh, um, the uh, negative side of this technique is a surgically induced ast astigmatism, which, uh, however, which improves uh, after surgery gradually. Next, paraspran vitrectomy. Um, uh, probably most Japanese surgeons prefer fovea sparing uh, vitrectomy to prevent macular hole formation. This paper was published uh, by my Japanese colleagues uh, uh, from a group of Kyoko Ono Matsui. And there was no statistical significant uh, difference between the uh, two groups with the fovea spring vitrectomy and the comp uh, complete vitrectomy group. Uh, regarding the formation of uh, macular hole, but uh, as you can see here, out of 30 eyes, five eyes developed macular hole uh, in a complete removal group. Uh, on the contrary, for the sparing group, uh, there was no case which developed macular hole out of 15 eyes. So my technique is uh, fovea sparing uh, iron peeling, and before that, stain the uh, posterior vitreous remnant uh, cortex, and use Prex Loop or DDMS uh, to remove posterior 
cortical vitreous as completely as, as possible, and I don't inject gas in most of the cases. This is a case of a 73-year-old female with a, a macular schisis with detachment. <coughs> so um, uh, this eye is uh, uh, easy to see, the uh, internal remitting membrane and the peritoneal membrane, but the, in some cases, intraoperative OCT is very useful uh, to see uh, the location of the, especially in the case of macular hole. The, um, I try to uh, retain the, fo um, the IRM around the uh, phobia uh, at least one disc diameter or slightly larger. So the, some extra uh, <coughs> IRM is now removed. Um, this case is a little bit unusual. I see an uh, improvement of the phobia uh, macular schisis uh, uh, within a couple of weeks or a couple of months, but uh, this case, after three days, macular schisis improved dramatically. And there is a question whether to inject a gas or not for this condition. Um, recently, the, uh, some international collaborative study group has published out of 193 eyes that uh, they divided uh, the group into two, uh, uh, vitrectomy with gas or without gas. And they uh, found that final visual acuity, improvement of visual acuity, and macular sickness, uh, episode long, was better without gas. And the duration, on the contrary, duration of macular cases was shorter with gas. So, uh, but this is a little bit difficult to conclude because this is not a randomized clinical trial retrospective, although the number of cases are very large. So the, let's move on to the macular hole. Uh, the, um, I, I uh, prefer invited IRM prep technique, or an especially large cases, autologous retinal transparent. Long-acting gas or silicon oil is used. This is a 45-year-old female post me for uh, my big traction macropathy. So um, as shown in the morning session, that I prefer uh, autologous retinal transparent for this case. <coughs> And my technique is I retain PFO for one week after surgery. This is, I, I think, the most reliable technique. Um, and the, uh, for the macular hole retinal detachment, uh, I, I prefer vitrectomy with invited iron prep or autologous retinal transplant. For the square buckling, uh, probably Barbara will talk uh, after my talk. Uh, for the treatment of macular hole retinal detachment, Dr. Kuriyama first described the use of invited iron prop technique. So um, the technique is somewhat similar in the uh, morning, uh, previous speaker, that complete removal of the posterior vitreous cortex followed by the in invited iron prop. Uh, as mentioned earlier, the technique is a little bit difficult because the, the retina is very fragile. Uh, or more bubble. After surgery, uh, the macro hole is um, um, beautifully closed. Um, for, uh, to stabilize the uh, invited iron prep technique, uh, Chi Chun Rai of Taiwan uh, mentioned that uh, he used PFO and the, um, uh, the, uh, he inject uh, dispersive OVD and the peripheral carbon uh, liquid. Uh, so it stabilized the uh, IRM on the macular hole uh, for uh, very stable. Okay, so these are the take home messages. Thank you very much for your kind introduction, invitation, thanks. Sorry.